Hi guys, this is Alex Costa from ANR Design, and we are lucky we get to shoot a YouTube video today in advance to the release of the new ADX Beretta Cheetah. This firearm is releasing at SHOT Show. So if you are watching this video, it has been released at SHOT Show. And we were lucky enough to be allowed to shoot our engineering sample of the ADX Cheetah. It's all black on black. Uh, the ADX Cheetahs released at SHOT Show are gonna look a little bit different. They're gonna have different colorways, but for the sake of this video, we were given permission to shoot the gun and share our thoughts. So right out the gate, this little ADX Beretta Cheetah is a 380 ACP pistol. It fits my hands quite well without a pinky extension. It still feels pretty good in the hands. It's a fatter grip, similar and indicative of the 92 line of Beretta pistols. It has a very, very forgiving recoil spring tension on the firearm. Uh, front cocking serrations, ambidextrous decocker safety. It's got an optic plate in the top with the iron sights built into it. It's got a very nice clean trigger. The double action pull on it, don't know what it actually is. I don't have the spec sheets for it, but it's not a lot. It feels nice, six pounds maybe. Single action is, is a nice clean break for the single action of the firearm. Uh, interchangeable grip panels. It's just a clean looking little gun. Uh, very easy to pull the trigger. Two position rail slot for accessories on the Picatinny rail. Feels like a Beretta, looks like a Beretta, shoots like a Beretta, but it's a high end 380 subcompact or compact pistol. And this gun in its configurations was designed for women. So we're gonna shoot it. It has 13 round capacity, 380 magazines. We're shooting Lawman training frangible 80 grain to start, just for shits and giggles. Um, through the flow of this video, we are going to be doing a lot of ammunition changes and we'll tell you what we're shooting. Uh, 380 in a high-end gun could be fickle, so we wanna make sure that we have different ammunitions and show you what we've experienced today, what cycles the best. The reason why we have this gun is because we were tasked with designing the new holster for the Cheetah. So this is our appendix with claw, optic ready, very tall, extra, extra tall suppressor height sight channel with appendix claw and uh, conceals real nice. Let me just move my alias out of the way. Starting from the double action. I got big hands, took me a second to kinda figure out where I needed to put my trigger finger and consistently shoot it, but with these lawman cartridges, it's soft shooter. You can put some uh, Remington full metal jacket, 95 grain. I will mention that this cheetah is very fired. <laughs> Obviously being an engineering sample, it has many, many rounds through it. I like that better. Shoots a little cleaner. The Lawman 80 grain is kind of dirty. There's a lot of burnt powder around the ejection area. Uh, that burns a lot cleaner. Do another mag in that.
lots of drop shots. <laughs> Uh, I also don't have the optic plate system for this, otherwise I would have put an optic on it. Uh, the irons that come with it are, are really small, and I'm finding myself burying that front dot to get my hits, so... Yeah, something to note. So we have three other types of ammo that we're going to be shooting. We already shot a mag of the Lawman Frangible full metal jacket umc from rem but we have the federal uh, what's the green weight 90 grain hydroshock from federal which was what we're going to shoot next we have the spear gold dot those are 90 grain jacket hollow points and then the pdx defender 95 grain uh winchester so we'll pluck from here and, and shoot a mag through that So the target market for this gun is is women. It, it, this is not this gun is not really designed and advertised for men. Some men might really like this gun if you have small childlike hands. Uh, I don't. <laughs> this gun is not for me. But it feels nice. Feels like a nice shooter. Consistent brass ejection at the three o'clock. Uh, definitely defensive ammo, stiffer recoil. I was getting good cadence there, dropped some shots as my trigger and my hand started to move around on the gun. It's just, you gotta think where this gun is in my hand, to, to press the trigger well, I'm pretty far back on the, I'm pretty much squeezing it like that. It's not ideal for, my big old honking hands. I like to have my length of pull out here. So obviously for me, it's not the best, but feels nice. It's a shooter, consistent, it's accurate. All right, we're shooting the spear gold dot now. We'll do some target transitioning. Try it 50. I mean, it's accurate. I hit every target on the first, first go around other than the 50 yard. This is not a cheap gun either. Ladies, if you are getting into this, definitely go shoot it. See if it, you know, find a place that might have it where you can test it. If not, and you really love Berettas, I think this would be a great choice for a 380 concealed carry purse gun, however you want to carry this gun. Uh, it's it's going to come with a pretty hefty price tag. What is mentioned to me in passing eight, 900 bucks. So not an affordable concealed carry 380 pistol, but 380 is an expensive cartridge and it's Beretta. It's a nice, it's, it's built really, really nice. I took this gun down, gave it a good cleaning since it was an engineering sample, it was full of carbon. I gave it a real good douching before we shot this video so there was no, you know, carbon fouling that would cause any issues. And just taking apart this gun, it's, it's manufactured with extreme high quality. It, it, it's a very well-built gun. Winchester PDX Defender. Another reason why I hate Winchester. That was a squib load, dude. Sizzle, and pop. There's a squib load. So, since we're testing ammos through this gun and Winchester is absolute garbage, glad I was shooting it slow because squib load, pop in a fizzle, the bullet is stuck right at the one inch mark. That would have been bad. You get a round going, a hot round going behind that. It's a blown up gun. So uh, 
Don't buy Winchester ammo. <laughs> so we'll just talk about the gun real quick. It's got front strap checkering, back strap checkering. Um, it's got a shrouded takedown lever. So it's nice and rounded and smooth. There's nothing sharp on this gun. Again, this is designed for women. There's nothing on it that's sharp or aggressive. I mean, the slide cocking serrations are aggressive because they should be. Uh, it, it's, it's got a shielded uh, slide stop here. So the mechanism where the slide, stop, the slide locks is actually inside the slide, uh, just like that. It takes down just like a Beretta. You just have to press the pin out and rotate it downward. Uh, it's got really kind of sleek, no sharp corners, but still sleek and sexy ambidextrous safety decocker. So they're easy to get to, but they're not super aggressive beating up your hands. All in all, it's a very comfortable gun to hold in your hands. Berettas are very comfortable guns to hold. They conceal well too. Just Beretta 92s in general have always been a really easy to conceal firearm. The trigger is really nice. It's got a longer, you know, trigger guard. There's nothing bad about this gun. As this gun will be advertised, and sold, I think it, it delivers everything that I'm experiencing with it here on the range. You know, the drop shots, that's me, not the gun. Uh, it's very accurate. I'm pulling my shots a little bit. I'm pushing them to the left a little bit. Again, because this gun is not, um, <laughs> it's not for me. It's, I carry a full-size Staccato XC with a C2 grip with a custom length of trigger pull on the trigger. So, you know, but, in regards to what Beretta is delivering, it's a pretty cool gun. Thank you so much for watching our video. Uh, again, I'm Alex from ANR Design, and this was our quick and dirty shot show review of the Beretta ADX Cheetah. Again, sorry for some of the drop shots in this video. This gun was designed specifically for the female market does not fit my hands well, but it was a really nice shooter. And again, I took this gun down, stripped it down pretty deeply to clean it for this video, get it all lubed up so we didn't have any issues. We did have one issue, the company's called Winchester. Otherwise, everything else <laughs> was great. And uh, thanks again to Beretta for giving us the opportunity to get ahead of the power curve and design a neat little ADX Cheetah holster for the Beretta. Thank you for watching. Please click subscribe, like the video, comment, share. We're trying to grow.